Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D such that its diagonals, as you can see, they intersect each other at E and they are perpendicular to each other as well. And moreover, this side length A, B is 6 times square root of 3. This side length AD is 6 and this side length CD is 5 times square root of 3. And now we are going to calculate this side length BC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the side lengths. I'm going to call this side a, this side B, this side C, and this side lowercase d. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle AEB. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And just keep in your mind that our longest leg is going to be our c. So therefore, for this triangle AEB, this side length is going to be our side c. Let's go ahead and apply this Pythagorean theorem. So I can write a square plus d square equal to the square of this side c which is 6 times square root of 3 and then square and now let's focus on this right hand side this number and here i have copied it down and let me show you how we're gonna simplify so we're gonna take care of this thing this is going to be 6 square is going to be 36 and then times square root of 3 and then square this square and square root is gone, so 36 times 3 is going to be equal to 108. So therefore, our this equation is going to become a square plus d square equal to, I'm going to replace this by this 108. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. And now let's focus on this next right triangle AED. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we will be using the Pythagorean theorem. And once again, our longest leg is this uh, 6. So let's apply the Pythagorean theorem. So that is going to give us A square plus uh, C square equal to 6 uh, square. Let's simplify furthermore, so that's going to give us a square plus c square equal to 6 square is same as 36. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as number 2. And now let's focus on this next right triangle CED. And since this is a right triangle, so we will be using the Pythagorean theorem once again. And this time our longest leg is going to be 5 times square root of 3. So let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem. So that is going to give us a B square plus a C square equals to the square of 5 times square root of 3 and then whole square and now let's focus on these numbers on the right hand side and here i have copied it now let me show you how to simplify this thing 5 square is going to give us 25 and then this square and square root they undo each other so we simply got 3 25 times 3 is 75 so I'm going to replace this whole big number by this 75. So our this equation is simply is going to become b square plus c square equal to 75. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 3. 
And now finally let's focus on this triangle BEC and since this side BC is unknown so let me go ahead and call this side as an X and now we are going to find the value of X and now we know that this is a right triangle so we'll be using the Pythagorean theorem once again and here's our Pythagorean theorem and now this time this side length X is going to be our longest leg. So let's go ahead and apply this Pythagorean formula. So that is going to give us uh, B square plus uh, D square equal to X square. Now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number four. And here we have finally compiled all our four equations as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and add these equation one and three. And here I have copied down equation one and equation three. Let's go ahead and add these equations. Let me go ahead and put these one together, a square and c square together. I'm gonna write down a square plus c square. Then I'm gonna put down b square plus uh, d square let me go ahead and just write down b square plus d square equals to on the right hand side 108 plus 75 is going to give us 183 and now we can see that a square plus c square is same as 36 from this equation 2 and likewise b square plus d square is from equation 4 this is equal to x square so we can write simply 36 plus x square turns out to be equal to 183 let's go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides this is gone so x square turns out to be 147 so now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides so this square and square root is gone so x turns out to be positive or negative square root of 147 now we know that x represents the side length so therefore this value must be positive and moreover this square root of 147 I have just simplified it over here and it turns out to be 7 times square root of 3 so therefore our x value turns out to be simply 7 times square root of 3 and that is our answer so thus our side length BC turns out to be 7 times square root of 3 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.